Time Crystal Applications Time crystals are far from a new concept. The idea has been around since 1928, and they were first proposed in 2012, but scientists had been experimenting with the idea for decades. However, in July of 2021, researchers successfully created a time crystal on purpose using Google's Sycamore processor. The Sycamore processor has 53 qubits and is a quantum processor created by Google's Artificial Intelligence Division. A time crystal is a quantum system of particles in which the lowest energy state is that of repeating motion. Let's take a look at how scientists are exploring a wide variety of potential applications for using time crystals. Number one, one of the most promising applications for time crystals is in quantum computing. Quantum computers are computers that use quantum bits or qubits, which can be in many different states simultaneously and exist in a superposition of these states. Quantum computers are much faster than conventional computers at solving certain types of problems. They can be used to find solutions to optimization problems much more easily. In a sense, they guess possible answers to a problem and then they measure how good those guesses were. One of the major obstacles for quantum computing is that not only do they need to be very cold, but they also need to be isolated from any external noise sources. Time crystals would provide a way for a qubit to remain stable at room temperature without being exposed to any external noise sources. Time crystals break what we know about the laws of physics being able to move without any external force applied to them. This is something that is not possible with other materials, and it may be the key to creating quantum computers which can store data so efficiently that they are able to process calculations in seconds rather than days. Number two, time crystals could help in the development of molecular computing. Molecular computing is a promising field of study, but has been hindered by the difficulty of getting individual molecules to interact with each other. With further research, time crystals could be the answer to this problem. Number three, time crystals could be used to create a new kind of clock. The incredible accuracy of this new clock would help scientists measure things like gravitational waves and neutrinos. This discovery would enable scientists to learn more about the universe and its origins. Number four, physicists may use time crystals for creating new types of electronics. These devices would be faster, more efficient, and have better memory capacity than current silicone-based electronics. They might also be used in sensors that could monitor the condition of roads, bridges, and buildings without having to use traditional methods of measurement. There is still much research to be done before we know all the effects time crystals will have on our devices. Further study will show whether these new materials can actually replace silicone or just supplement it in certain situations. We need time crystals because they can help us bridge the gap between the quantum and classical world. They are potentially able to store time and energy so we can theoretically measure them closely without interference from external sources. It is still too early to tell what the future will hold for time crystals, but the future looks promising. <laughs>